Hello world, what I'm going to do today is I implement the tic-tac-toe color. It's basically a simulation of the tic-tac-toe game, where two players can play the game of tic-tac-toe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Mrs. Lily for that, which means .NET and C Sharp. So let's wait a little second for Visual Studio getting started. And I create a new test project, unit test project that's a good tic tac toe color. Um, I have to date the end just to make sure we don't break with our projects. Now, in the meantime, while this studio is creating a new project for me, I think about the first test because I want to write this, this program in a test first approach or test driven development approach. So I drive the design of my program with my tests. Now, the first test that I normally is actually the hardest one to write. I could think of something like um, var board equals new game board, and then say assert true board is empty. Now, I don't like those approach because here I'm focused too much on the game board. I could write a test like player equals new player, and say player from set marker one one. Oops, sorry, how to complete. Now this one is not nice either because this test is focused too much on the player itself. And what we really should do is focus on the business problem or focus on the domain that uh, the program lives in. So we should really focus on the game itself or uh, um, how that works. So what we should do is we should, what I'd like to do is I'd like to fire up Notepad and start writing something like something there. So what I do is I go to a business person and I tell him, hey, talk to me about the tic-tac-toe game. What, how, how does it work? Now, the business person probably wants to have something in Word because business people love that Word. So you can do that in Word as well. But since we're only talking about the tic-tac-toe game, let's, speak, let's use uh, Notepad for that. So to talk, in order to talk to a business person, we could have something like this. Hey, this is an empty board. Now I get an X there. Then there is player two coming along. He plays an O there. And there is an X here. Then there is a... O here, and then there is an X here, and player one wins. Yoo-hoo. Now this is already an example for how tic-tac-toe uh, could work. And this is great because this example explains to me, as a developer, and to, to, to the business person as well, how tic-tac-toe works. So what I do is I copy that, and I bring that into my test. Let's paste it in here, and let's see what happens. Now, to create here, um, nice visualization on top of that, it's actually, I think, too far. So let's start a little bit easier here. So what I do is I create a new game, game equals new game, and I say, yeah, create a class for me, it doesn't really matter. And then I say, we put an X, we put an X on zero, oops, on zero, zero position. Now, how should I put an X on 0 0.0? Maybe I just say set marker on position. Well, let's say play the X on 0, 0. Yep, I like that. Um, marker. That's X. Oops. And that is Y. Cool. Now we play the O on 0, 0 1. Done. Then we continue that. We play the X on 1, 1. Then we play the O on 1, no, on 2, 1. And then we, at the end, we play the X on 3, 3. And then we have actually the first example of yeah, one wins is true. Um, game dot, um, get winner equals x. Create a method, and I say return x, just to get that going. Now, I just did a build with f6, but what I like to do is I want to say run all my tests after each build. So now the test explorer window should come up sooner or later. Let's see where it is. There it is. And I have actually my first passing test. Now, we haven't implemented anything useful yet, but I have already an example on how the game could work, which is very nice. Uh, this could um, help me to continue and drive the conversation with the business person. 
Now Gift is a nice game. This is an example game. Game um, player one. All markers diagonal. Player one wins like this. Now what I realize now is what happens if player two plays on the same position like on zero, 0, That's actually a test I could think of in the future. Um, players play on same field. What should happen? I guess we should throw an exception. So if player 2 plays on the same field, conclusive, we should get an exception. Now you see this is the same field. That's the reason why we should get an exception. Let's run this. Now, what I do here is I create an assert inconclusive, and that's basically my to-do list. With the skip test here, I know there is more stuff that I have to implement. I have another another test that I just saw is what happens if we play the X twice. Same player plays twice. This is perfect because you could do that with a business person again. To talk about all this. All right, we have our first game. Oh, sorry, first passing test. I just make a couple of fixes. Um, the first one is Resharpa. I make Resharpa happy. So I add these bits here. Now, what should be the second test? Um, now, I really want to do, I want you to write some business functionality first. Or I could just go in this direction where I implement a this this um, te kind of test. Um, oh, actually, let's let's start with that one. 